Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we're continuing uh, playing the miscellaneous, or misc, a tiny tale. Uh, this is playtesting, and the first thing that I want to mention here is that, um, I, I kind of already went over this. Oh, well, I guess this is part of it. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> I'm not sure why um, why small developers do this. It might just be a pain in the butt, or it's like a, a, a detail that gets pushed to the back burner. I don't know, but um, a lot of times, like, I, I notice this. So, if we're in a game, and I press escape... There should be access to the options menu in this, in in, in here, like in in this uh, in-game menu. This might just be something again that's pushed to the back burner, and it might be included in the final release. But it would be nice to have that here. The thing that I wanted to access the options menu for was to show that in this current state, um, the options menu only has some some resolution options, and that's it. One thing that I think um a lot of a lot of small developers um. They, they might be mistaken for doing this, is including audio options early on. And the reason is uh, that, like, right here, you're you're seeing it. I am making this video, and this is, this is like the evolution of gaming, like the publicity for gaming. It doesn't come from, um, or not, not as much. It doesn't come as much from the, the produ like the developers or the publishers paying for advertising. It comes from people... Um, but like me, I mean, like I play a very small part in it right now. Eventually, I'll get bigger, but for now, my audience is very small. But um, your publicity comes from streamers and content creators, and so part of their whole setup is audio. Um, so like audio levels and being able to like so here here's an, here's what I'm getting at here. I want to be able to adjust the sound options independently. So I want to set the music at one volume and have the sound effects at a different volume because. Uh, for for my whole gig here, like what I'm doing, this video that I'm making, I I want the game sound effects to be at regular volume because I don't think that they interrupt my commentary. However, I think the music does, and the music playing over the commentary since it's continuous, um, it gets like that's the priority is my commentary. That's the only thing that I'm providing a value right now, and so um, it just might be like something to take a look at or consider is that um, if you want to get like publicity, then the way to do it is make it friendly for people who are doing it for you anyway or friendly or not that i'm saying you're unfriendly about it you know what i mean though let's keep going I'm gonna pet the dog look at this good boy he's so cute i remember we had a doggo again just not into not i'm i'm not i dislike the the cutesy dialogue i know most people i i don't think do but i mean it's a dog that's the word is dog it's a dog <laughs> not doggo but uh anyway that's just me i'm sure i'm in the minority I remember we had a dog just like this guy a few years ago. After a while, he ran off and we never saw him again. I think doggo comes from like calling kids kiddo. Kiddos. And um, anyway, yeah, I just, oh man, I, uh, I don't like it. After a while, he ran off and uh, we never saw him again. I'm not sure why he is capitalized, but um, like, like I mentioned a lot in my last video, I talked about it, like the language and stuff. I'm going to ignore it here because I think this is just, the, again, I'm in the minority. I think it's the evolution of modern language and I'm the only one who cares. Well, I really haven't thought about him for so long. I miss him. Wait, this guy seems to be guarding a cog. Not a question. He's not so friendly when I try to grab it off him. Okay. Uh, maybe I can give him something better than a cog to play with as a toy. Not a question. Hmm. We can just attack him. Oh, we can't. Because attacking is a uh, left mouse button. Like this. And as soon as we get close enough, then it um, initiates a dialogue with a dog. Bye! Obviously gonna jump down the hole, right? Okay. Bag boy, incoming call. What is he calling us on? Do we have like a little tiny, like a Barbie phone? That we... Never mind. Did I see you jump down that pipe? That's the underground. It's usually empty, but Gus said he wants to find the best challenger. Speaking of, I met Gus this morning. I've never come across anyone who looks so different. He's awesome. Gus looks like a ball with a face. Is it like... Okay. I never saw it, but it's like Wilson from... Uh, what is that movie with Tom Hanks? Anyway, you know you just described yourself, right, Flick? If you ever get stuck, talk to Gus. He can help you get out of there. I couldn't complete his challenge, but I'm sure you'll be able to, buddy. Yeah, again, I'm in the minority here, but like the, the dialogue is... It's... I don't know. Never mind. I'm going to stop talking about it. Greetings, fellow 
Trap. Okay. Traveler Skitter Skitter. I be Gus, as this is my name, for I am this is this way. I'm named this way. Does one have what it takes to complete my challenges? Skitter. Or will one give up like the many before them? Ha! What does one wish to know? Skitter Skitter. What is this place? Behind me, you will lay your eyes on a trial like no other, created from trash and treasures like no other. If you pass this trial, you will be rewarded with only the utmost best. Do not worry, Skitter. If one fails a trial, uh, you will assist in recovering. I will assist in recovering you before you reach your doom. But be warned, you will begin from the start again. Okay, so if we die, it's a... What does one wish to know? Never mind. I'm sure that if we said, get me out of here, he's going to say, well, you have to pass my trial. So we have little propellers that are holding this thing up. Can we just jump off? Yes. Okay, and we die. We start over, just like he said. So here's our 3D platformer. So far, we haven't really experienced this very much. Where's the... Where'd it go? Oh. Oh, it came down, not up. So it goes up. Platformers are all about uh, timing, right? What are we on? What is this thing? Huh. And then what do we have to do next? Oh, I'm guessing that these are going to fall, right? I don't know, but... I'm not going to stick around to find out. Oh, they don't. Wait. Oh, they don't. Okay. This is literally just... Ha! Oh, you have to have the safety pin to do it. Okay. So we'll go back. We're going to open up the jail sale thing. Jail sale. That's what I said. Didn't mean to. Oh. Really? Cool. Okay, that's... um. I say cool because, like, there are two things now where we just... I couldn't open them, like, in the main area. The, the beginning area. And the reason was we just didn't have a safety pin. So that's cool to know we can just go back and do it. Easily. Oh, maybe. I don't know if we can go back. Dear Challenger, the key to my trials is patience. Jump, hover, double jump, and hover again. If one space is out their timing, they'll be king of the trial. Trail. See, this is... Okay, never mind. That was... that. Eh, never mind. <laughs> it's a language thing. It just bothers me. It really bothers me, like... Uh, never mind. I'm not going to get all negative about it, because I'm... Again, I think I'm in the minority. Signed, the Skitter King, Gus. Skitter... So we have someone else writing us love notes now. Not just the sign guy. Pretty easy, right? This is like kind of an introduction, I think, to... Introduction to what the game expects, is of, expects of us in this platforming... Oh, totally missed that. All of it. <laughs> the whole thing the game expects is of, a, of us in the platforming part of it. Okay, so it's, um, gotta start all over. Like, all over. There's no checkpoint there. It's easy, it's just time-consuming. I mean, up until that one point, right? I like the sounds. Boy, like this spring. The music is good. I'm kind of like hearing it for the first time now because I finally shut up. <laughs> I finally stopped talking. But um, yeah, it's it's uh, calming. It's nice. Wait, what's in there? What's in there? Why is this breaking the wall right here? How are those propellers powered? So many questions. Oh. Dang it. I, uh... Hmm. Okay. I didn't time it well. The double jump. So far, I've just been, like, double jumping, like, uh, press space once, press it again, like, a second after, just to get, like, the extra height, just in case I would need it. But usually I don't. And then on that one I um I did the same thing and I didn't pay attention to the timing.
Oh, dang it. Okay, so press it once, and then press it again, and that got it. That, yeah, cool. All right. Press it once, then press it again. Then press it once, press it again for the long jump. Ooh, and barely made it. Congratulatory skitter. Yes, yes, you have ended the trial uh, in which many before you can reach. So, like, I'm not sure if, if this is part of his, like, he just speaks, like, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here. I'm not sure if like if it, these words are like representative of this person's ability to talk or the developer's ability to type out the sentences. I'm not sure if it's like styling or if it's just an error, but um, he's got a unique way of talking if it's deliberate. Uh, one trash is now your treasure. Please take it with you and use it wisely. I will see you in the inevitable next trial. Skitter, I will amp my challenges higher than the sky. So long. Skitter, skitter. Where are we? Oh, oh, okay. So we completed that thing. We're still looking for a toy for this dog. But we can go back here, and we're going to. We're going to go check out those two things that I mentioned. The lever to open up the jail sale, and then also the cup. With the cog in it. I wonder how many cogs we need. I don't think it ever told us, did it? I mean, by it, I mean the game. It's a cog! Whee! Okay. Bam! What's this? It's a preserved snack. Okay. I wonder if that's an energy bar. Oh, it is. Yeah. Preserved snack. I like it. That's all it is, right? Those things are... S Ugh. Okay. Dear reader, I tried this energy bar. It's not good. It tastes like dust and cobwebs, so I locked it away from the world. If you're reading this, I guess that means you really, really want it. Be my guest. Enjoy your dusty, tasteless doom. Signed, the sign guy. I wonder if that's some kind of, like, uh, social commentary on, like, general nutrition in the world. Oh. Oh, man. That snack you got is making my insides turn. I gotta have it, man. Is there anything you'll take for it? Huff puff. Wait, I know. What about this? Found it last night on my run. So, what do you say? Wanna trade? What is it? What are you offering? Do I have a choice? I don't. Maybe we need ten cogs. There you go, man. Thank you so much. This snack looks sort of old. Energy is energy, right? Yeah, I mean, yes. Energy is energy. It's caloric intake. Hey, that was pretty good. Was it seasoned with something? Dirt and cobwebs and... Yep. Yeah. Yes, dust. Bye! Ooh, I like this. Look at the way the light is hitting these. From this angle, these um, clovers, or these small plants. See, I like the... I like that a lot. Green's my favorite color, too, so maybe I'm just biased. I don't know. I notice things like that. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's like, okay, it's an old bottle. Or not even old. It's like just a plastic bottle cap from a plastic, like, soda or water bottle, right? Or tea or whatever. Whatever you want to... <laughs> anything that comes in a plastic bottle. Okay, what? Oh, there's a sign. Dear reader, don't ask me how, but I got the log data for the Garden Village Gate. As you probably guessed, I'm not from around here. Your village is weird. No one's entered or left this place in over 10 years. The last one to enter was someone called Baggy Man or Paper Boy, something like that. Signed, the sign guy. Wait, does he mean Bag Boy? I mean, I know this community is tight. I guess I never really thought about the last time anyone tried leaving here. Can we just... Oh, yeah, okay. I thought it was going to be... Oh, bag boy! Hey, bud. Oh, you made it. Glad to see you here, buddy. I really wish I could, I could be of more help. I feel a bit silly just standing here while you get cogs. One wheel, one arm. No propeller? They're useful when you feed me. Yeah, that's how... Yeah. Such a cat. I'll take that as a compliment, Flick. I may not have your double jumping skills, but I'm talk talking around and figuring things out about last night. Oh, okay. 
That explosion really seemed to affect things out there. Where did it come from? For now, we can collect those cogs and ask around. If I'm being honest, buddy, I'm glad to get out of this village. You're the only one who doesn't think I'm weird. I think you're weird, too. See? Listen, kid, I haven't exactly had the best morning. My log data went missing, the gates are broken, and that loud-mouthed cat ate my lunch. Last night, the cables for the automatic gates fried. I can manually open them with eight cogs. Oh, ordering them will take a while. You want to pass through early? Get your hands on at least eight cogs. No buts. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. That seems to be everything. Let me put them in place and crank this gear. Step back, kid. I think that was good. Um, so this was kind of like like the main quest, right? And so to get it, we had to kind of like complete some side quests is basically what it was. And I think that was a good, um, a, a very proportional amount of work. Uh, you know, like, I think it was good. I think the game flow was set up well. Everything, yeah, it was just, it was good. Um, let's see, everything kind of happened naturally for me, very organically. It wasn't like I was trying to get to the gate and then like, oh, shoot, I got to backtrack. Like, I got... I was exploring. I found those two things that I said I wanted to go back for now that we had the safety pin. And then there was the guy with the energy bar. And and that it just all happened so organically. So I just kind of want to comment on that. It happened very well. I think the game flow was great. Um, the world looked good. I commented on that continually. <laughs> I, I really liked the way it was set up and um, the openness of it right off the bat. Um, yeah, the only thing that really bothered me was like... Just the language. I just, I don't know, just clean that up. Maybe, like, if 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 you're not a native speaker of, of the language that you're using, maybe, like, try to just get somebody, like, on, like, Fiverr or something to spell check and check punctuation. I don't know. But um, if that's important to you, you know, like, I'm just saying, like, that was the thing that bothered me the most. And um, after a while, it, it got, honestly, it got tedious uh, reading, reading it just because um, trying to sort through, like, Eliminate ambiguity, because that's what punctuation and that that's why we have rules in language, right? Is to eliminate ambiguity. So that way you can tell somebody what you're thinking using the language and you can say it with uh, eliminating ambiguity through the rules. And then that way the person knows exactly what you're saying the first time you say it. And so I found that going through and reading, uh, it was a little bit tedious because I had to eliminate all that ambiguity based on the context of the situation and hope that my interpretation was correct. And um, it's, it's not that hard. It just gets like, again, it's tedious. And that was the only thing that bothered me. Everything else was good. I liked it. I liked this game. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Like, I, I think I, I mentioned most everything else in the playthrough. And that's it. It was good. I think overall, it's a good game. Um, and that that's it. That's my review, I guess. I'll write some more on the Game Round website, and I'll maybe... Uh, I'll, and I'll definitely post a link to my two videos that I made in the Discord channel. The Discord uh, server for Game Round. Anyway, this is uh, Misk. Let's go back to the main menu. Oh, it's right there. Misk a tiny tail, but... Main menu. Again, you... you I, I would... Personally, I would prioritize um, the audio the audio options. Just because you're, you're getting free publicity. So, like, here's just an example... My audience is only, like, right now, like, my subscriber base is, like, um, I don't know, it's, like, 440 people for my channel. And it's very small, but I'm still doing it. Um, and so, like, it, if you make your platform, like, the game, more friendly to streamers and content creators, then they are more likely, uh, to, to produce content, and also the content that they produce will be, um, better. It'll be higher quality, so you, you might consider prioritizing including some audio options on this main menu anyway you can see it right here misc a tiny tail demo thanks for watching atlas gaming i release content every day and we'll see you in the next one